Richard, thank you very much for your time here in London at One to One Mining Investments. First of all, could you introduce Eurasia Mining for us? All right. So thank you, Julian, for opportunity to speak. So uh, Eurasia Mining uh, is already established uh, producer of uh, platinum group metals, which include uh, platinum, palladium, iridium, and rhodium. So those are the basket uh, of our current production. And uh, Eurasia has been in production since 2016. Uh, and uh, uh, this uh, uh, basket of metals which we produce uh, are of uh, uh, high demand, especially recently the palladium uh, price has been doing quite well. And the iridium price, uh, which uh, is uh, the same as palladium and rhodium, is like twice higher. So, yeah, we're in a good shape because uh, uh, the prices are doing well. And also uh, our cost is in the very bottom of the cost curve because we have uh, the largest alluvial uh, PGM uh, production uh, and resource in the world. And uh, alluvial, basically, it's not like a discovery channel. Uh, alluvial where uh, people are like washing and swallowing nuggets. So it's a different story. It's uh, mechanized production, so similar to um, open pit uh, bedrock uh, operation. The only difference is that you don't have to blast. You just straight away excavate, uh, like we do with commands excavators, and we track to the uh, washing plant, enrichment plant, and then we get uh, the concentrate, which is 70 to 80% grade concentrate, so high grade, which we sell directly to refineries. Uh, the very low discount in London uh, price for the metals. So uh, it's established producer. Uh, it's uh, uh, low cost because it's shallow open pit. It doesn't require blasting. Uh, and uh, we're scaling up. Uh, the production uh, at our operating mine. Plus, we have a much larger project uh, which is bordering Finland on Norway, uh, which is the bedrock operation, primarily palladium, so it's 50% uh, palladium and uh, uh, a basket of other metals, which include uh, platinum, uh, copper, nickel. And now we are adding additional uh, areas to this project, which will uh, have significant resources of cobalt as well. So, if you could Paint us a bit of a picture in terms of the timelines over the next sort of two years when you expect this this larger project to sort of feature more closely. Right, right, right. Good question. So, basically, uh, where we are now, right? So we are scaling up uh, the existing production. That's uh, of course uh, one of our, uh, our current tasks, and we've been doing it quite well over the recent few years. We've been scaling up, especially last year was very successful. So then, uh, basically, we have larger project, uh, which uh, has been fully financed uh, via our uh, final inviting agreement signed with Sand Steel. So it's 100% financed. And then, basically, uh, uh, the Sand Steel uh, uh, has an obligation to take it into production within a two-year time frame. So hopefully, end of next year, uh, we'll be uh, already uh, producing. And Sand Steel has an obligation to bring it to full-scale production, which is 140,000 ounces uh, per year. Uh, which is in the current price environment can bring us uh, sales of over 200 million uh, US dollars. Uh, and uh, uh, basically, uh, that's uh, what we're working on now. So all the agreements are signed. Uh, uh, they are uh, already final and binding. Um, so we are heading over. We're doing some land works, uh, which we announced recently already on our uh, bigger mine. And uh, uh, we basically position ourselves uh, as uh, one of the few independent palladium producers. Everything else has been consolidated like uh, steel water mining uh, acquired by Sibania uh, for consideration of uh, 2 billion US dollars. Um, so that was one of the uh, deals in palladium space. Then there's North American palladium, uh, which is like us, uh, one of the few uh, palladium, pure palladium plays left unconsolidated. And so you're fully funded, so you're not looking to raise capital. What's your key message right now for, for investors? Right, right. So, so uh, our, our participation key in the money investment one-to-one -one is uh, like to spread the message about the company because we haven't been doing marketing uh, much in the past because uh, we didn't have title uh, for our larger mine, which we uh, finally received the end of last year. Uh, so now we have the production permit until 2038, so like for 20-year life of mine. Uh, so it's again open pit, uh, a very simple operation. And then basically uh, we got much, end of last year again, we got a much larger uh, license area for our operating mine. So we increased from uh, 20 square kilometers to over uh, 90 square kilometers, which is quite a big increase because we drilled this area before uh, all these 90 square kilometers in our joint, which is Anglo American, the largest uh, platinum producer in the world. So we know this area well, and it was a significant addition to our resources. And now we can legitimately call ourselves the largest uh, in the world alluvial PGM uh, producer, both in terms of resources and production levels. 
So, so yeah, because we haven't been marketing, uh, we started uh, now to spread the message uh, because we've got the title now for, for, for our projects uh, for uh, a long term, for 20 years, both of them. And uh, uh, that's the whole idea because the company is generating cash on our operating mind. We have cash on our balance sheet. Um, so the, 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 the bigger project is fully funded and uh, the whole idea is just to do non-deal road show and uh, to uh, uh, spread the message. Uh, that's that's the idea. Very good. And how have you found the, um, the, the conference, one-to-one -one conference in London? It's good. It's good. So it's, it's good that uh, you are basically very focused on one-to-one -one meetings with uh, big institution investors and family offices. This is uh, what we need in our company because uh, obviously we need strong hands like me and the larger shareholder. And uh, we have some other uh, large shareholders that are strong hands, so they are uh, holding uh, the shares because uh, I invested at a 10 times higher share price than it is now because uh, the, the uh, PGM uh, business in general in the world collapsed uh, in 2008-2009 when the platinum price went from $2,500 per ounce to like uh, more or less 800 nowadays. So, but we are not uh, uh, platinum, we are primarily a palladium company and uh, uh, I think the market just doesn't realize that and uh, our shares uh, suffered uh, probably the most in the segment. So, so yeah, uh, that's, that's uh, I think, good conference because it's uh, the target audience, uh, the large institutional and uh, family offices and uh, um, uh, also it's, it's, it's very focused one-to-one -one meetings. Very good. Well, Dimitri, thanks for your time today and best of luck with continued development. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.